On April 23rd, the Chinese embassy in Manila, Philippines, released a song on social media called Lisang Dagat, One Sea, in both Chinese and Filipino. The video tries to paint a picture of China helping the Philippines fight the virus. However, Filipino netizens were furious, and within a few days, more than 170,000 people, including many Chinese netizens, pressed the dislike button. In conjunction with Chinatown TV and New Style Media Group, the Chinese embassy in the Philippines published a charity song, Li Sang Dagat, One Si, with lyrics written by the Chinese ambassador Huang Xi Lian, implying China's support for its neighbor, the Philippines, in battling the virus. The music video heavily exaggerates the Chinese regime's so-called support and assistance given to the Philippines and also gathers the so-called gratitude from officials such as the mayor of Manila, foreign minister of the Philippines, minister of health of the Philippines, and President Rodrigo Duterte. Instead of sparking gratitude among the Filipinos, the song One C provoked anger after its release on YouTube on April 23rd. As of May 1st, the video had gathered nearly 200,000 dislikes and only 3,000 likes. One of the lyrics particularly outraged Filipino netizens. You and I are on the same sea with the companion of watchful love. Filipino netizens left comments such as, The Philippines and West Philippine Sea is for Filipinos only. This is a joke. Promoting illegal claims under the guise of compassion and unity is trash content. The irony of using the title Li Sang Dagat One Si when Chinese vessels harmed Filipino fishermen. Current affairs commentator Lan Xu said, The Chinese Communist Party has always had a territorial dispute with the Philippines and always frequently sends fishing vessels and warships to the area. In reality, their relationship has been very intense already, and now China dropped a clangor by mentioning the West Philippine Sea in the song wanting to prove the great friendship with the Philippines. The dispute between China and the Philippines over territorial waters has been going on for decades. Back in February this year, as the Philippines was busy fighting the CCP virus in this pandemic, Chinese military warships used radio-controlled radar to target Philippines warships that were patrolling the South China Sea, and this action was protested by the Department of Foreign Affairs of the Philippines. Moreover, the announcement made by the State Council of the CCP on April 18th regarding the establishments of Shisha District and Nansha District in the disputed areas of the South China Sea had also sparked outrage among the Filipinos. In addition to provoking the Philippines, Chinese fishing vessels escorted by Chinese Navy ships broke into Indonesian waters in the South China Sea to fish back in February and in early April. Chinese Navy ships rammed and sank a Vietnamese vessel that was fishing off the Shisha Islands. These countries are currently struggling with fighting the virus pandemic and have no time to upgrade their defense. Many netizens from countries like South Korea, Vietnam, Chile, Zambia, and South Africa have expressed their disgust in the comments section on YouTube. China wanted to get the approval from the Philippines but did not expect the aggressive foreign diplomacy to have already outraged the Filipinos. The CCP has now become very isolated internationally because of the cover-up of the virus. Based on its own interests, the Chinese Communist regime is now using all sorts of methods to pull strings with governments and leaders of various countries. Yet all leaders of these countries are, in fact, very clear with the fact that this pandemic would not have erupted on such a large scale if the Chinese Communist Party had not kept the international community under wraps in the early days. Previously, Wisconsin State Senator Roger Roth exposed a resolution that was privately sent by the CCP requesting him to praise China for its fight against the pandemic. In response to this, Roth proposed a resolution to show solidarity with the Chinese people and resolutely reject the Chinese Communist Party. The Federal Ministry of the Interior of Germany also confirmed a similar situation where the Chinese Communist Party lobbied German officials to praise it for its fight against the virus but the German officials did not comply. The fact that the CCP keeps taking on an offensive stance and asking for praises from other countries while it cannot even stand on its own feet anymore is not just a matter of being shameless and having no bottom line. It clearly shows that the CCP is an unusual and evil regime with a strong infiltration ability. Many Chinese netizens are also furious about the song. One commented, 
I am Chinese, but I don't like the disgusting song either. Most of the ordinary Chinese people are also the victims of the CCP virus. Hope the evil CCP regime collapses early on. Many Chinese people have gone on to the most active Chinese website in the Philippines, Philippine Dragon Media Network, to complain that the Chinese ambassador does not care about the lives of the Chinese people and is making a show. He should be busy rearranging flights going back to China. The foreign policy has bribed many people who praise themselves all day long. Many Chinese people in the Philippines said that they were put in an awkward situation because of the song.